it is time to set up my bullet journal spreads for August and since August is always back to school or back to Zoom season, call it what you want these days, I'm going to use the teacher and the student sticker pack. So depending on what side you're on, I got you covered. So let's get into it. So after I make sure that I have enough pages for the whole month, I always go into the page layout and duplicate the third page a couple times, I can go ahead and get started on my cover page. And I always use the month sticker from the basic set because it's, you know, basic. <laughs> it goes with everything. I don't have to type out anything. I can always color it in if I want to. And then I'm going back to the student and the teacher set and just gather all the pencils and markers and create a nice wallpaper to kind of set the theme for this month. Now I'm just finishing up this page by drawing some polka dots onto the August sticker so everything ties in together. But the cover page never takes too long. I can always finish that within a couple of minutes. All right, onto the monthly page. And I teased that a little bit in my last video that I'm bringing back the honeycomb pattern and here we are. So every month I try to do something different and not just the basic squares. And this time I thought I could experiment with the honeycomb a little bit. It does take some time, I can tell you that. So not something if you're in a rush or if you don't have any patience at all, but I think in the end it is worth it. It's one of my favorite monthly setups that I've ever made. So hopefully I can get a lot of use out of it. Now you can see right here that the weeks are not perfectly in line. They're a little bit offset from each other, which I hope is not gonna bother me once I'm actually in that month and I'm trying to plan it out and I'm looking for where's Thursday, where's Saturday. But honestly, if you want a true honeycomb pattern, then it is very necessary. So we'll see how this all works out. I think it still looks cool and sometimes that's more important than functionality. But I didn't wanna just leave those hexagons empty. Uh, this time I wanted to bring some color in. So that's why I'm using a yellow highlighter and I'm coloring in the hexagons. I'm trying to kind of fade them out, make the whole spread more gradient, more ombre, so I do get lighter the more we get to the bottom, but that way I can make it look more like honey. Another thing, and I've mentioned that before, if you're using highlighters in good notes, if you want to color in something and you want a nice even color, then just make sure to do the coloring in one stroke. Do not lift the pencil off of the iPad or you will have darker spots. Now, as always with my monthly spreads, I have some empty spots that are kind of weird. They're not big enough, but I still want to put something in. So I'm just completing this with a couple of lines. Nothing crazy. I didn't want to use more stickers and make this too overwhelming. I really wanted the honeycomb pattern to speak for itself.
All right, we're on the next page, my fun page. This is where I set up all my to-dos and events during the month. And I'm starting off with that big hexagon in the middle. This theme will follow us throughout this month, at least in the beginning, but I'm trying to section this off into five areas so I can use it for my purposes. You will see it's gonna more resemble the JP Morgan Chase logo than anything else, um, but that's okay, it's still gonna be fun. Heading into the first week of August, you can tell I don't have enough of hexagons just yet, so those would be the base for each day. This time I'm trying to keep it somewhat symmetrical, unlike what I did in February, but I'll still have plenty of space to write in my to-dos. So one thing that I haven't done in a while, probably like two or three months already, and I'm bringing it back for the spread is to sticker bomb. I'm just gathering all the stickers that I feel like go well in that color theme that I have going on right now. And then I size them up, size them down, move them around and just fill the empty space with them. And I think for this spread, it was appropriate.
right, last page after skipping three pages for the next three weeks, we're getting into the monthly review section. And I was thinking about it for a while, what I could do there, what kind of design or pattern I can implement in this page. But I realized honestly, for this page, it's more important what I'm writing in at the end of the month rather than how I designed it. So I'm keeping it fairly simple. I'm sectioning them off into my five areas that I always have at the end of the month, but I wanna keep them as big as possible. So the only way that I can bring in some color is to size down the stickers quite a bit and just put them on top of my board so they're not taking up too much space but I can still have some color because I always felt like at the end of the month I'm running out of space I need more to write down my thoughts so I'm keeping the sections as big as possible All right, finally, the flip through the Apple Pencil is done for today. I hope it was helpful. Maybe you got some inspiration for your own spreads if you haven't set them up yet, or you're thinking, yep, I'm not gonna do that. Either way, I hope I helped you out a bit. Mm -hmm.